Hey artists, today we're gonna to draw and paint this Earth Day flower. Make sure you have a pencil, an eraser, a Sharpie, watercolor paper, watercolor paints, a glass of water, paint brushes, and a paper towel. It's important to have the correct supplies for the style of painting, especially the watercolor paper and the Sharpie. Let's go ahead and get started. So first thing we're gonna do is grab our pencils and we're gonna start right about here on our paper and make a circle. If you have something round that you wanna to use to trace around, you can or you can just kind of draw it freehand. I'm just gonna sketch mine out with my hand here like that. And then inside of our circle, we're gonna draw some shapes for the land on the earth. We're gonna just paint those green then. There's a couple little islands here. And some big ones like that. Then we're gonna draw some petals on our flower. So we'll start with one here then maybe come down here and put one and then we'll start one here and you can see I kind of stopped so that this petal looks like it's behind this one and then here we can just kind of connect like that that makes it like there's some dimension there and there's um, some petals behind other petals so I'm just gonna keep adding in some petals here for this one I'll start here you can just keep adding until you have petals all around your flower. You wanna kinda of keep them about the same size. I'm just gonna erase that little extra mark there. And then I'll draw a couple little lines inside of my petals here, like that. I'm gonna draw in a kind of a squiggly looking stem here. You can make your straight or whatever you want. For the leaf, I started here in the middle. I curved around and up and then like this. So this part of the leaf kind of goes over this line of the stem. So it looks like it's around the stem. I'm gonna go ahead and do the same on the other side. So I went around the stem and then back and meet this point. So then we can erase these two extra lines inside of the leaf. And you can see then it looks like the leaf is kind of hugging the stem. All right, and then we're gonna draw in a little bit of dirt here. I just drew a little dirt pile and then drew a little squiggles in here for some extra little dimension. All right, I'm done sketching, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my Sharpie and we're gonna trace all of the pencil marks that we made. And you can make this line around here a little bit thicker than the lines on the inside and also the lines around here and the stem, a little bit thicker, these thinner. Anything that's on the outside, you want it to be a little bit thicker just to give it some more dimension. So we'll go ahead and trace and then we will move to our next step. All right, I'm all done with my Sharpie. I did forget to mention to add a couple little dots on your dirt just to give it a little bit more texture as well. So then I'm gonna go ahead and take my eraser and erase all the pencil marks that I can still see and then we'll move on to painting. All right. Now that I'm done with my eraser, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my paper towel and a paintbrush, and we can go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with my smaller paintbrush, and I'm gonna just fill in the water part with some water, and I wanna avoid where it's gonna be green. We just wanna make whoop, the um, ocean a little wet here. And then we're gonna grab our blue and we're gonna start filling that in. We're gonna start along the edges. We want the edges to be a little bit darker than right in the middle. You can see in the middle, I have it a little bit lighter and the edges darker. That makes that middle part of the flower look a little bit more 3D and kind of like it's sticking out on the page at you. 
So I'm filling in all around the edges. And you can see since it's wet, some of it is moving on the, into the middle without me even putting it there. But once you get the edges done, you can kind of help it along and pull it into the middle a little bit more. It should get a little bit lighter as you move in. Just like that. If you need to go in and add some more around the edges, you can. Okay, next we're going to do the green. So I'm going to do kind of the same thing. I'm going to fill in the green spots and then take some green paint. I used this green first on the other picture and I will show you why it looks different when we get to the end. But again, we're going to do around the edges first. And kind of move into the middle but we want it darker around this edge you can use your paper towel to wipe off some of the extra paint off your brush if you need to all right I finished that section so I'm going to go ahead to the next section do the exact same thing darker along the edge and lighter in the middle and then on to the next section okay and then for the islands they're just going to be a little bit lighter green not as dark as around the edges here so just like that okay and then we're gonna do the stem and the leaves next since we already are working with this green so I'm gonna start with the stem and I made my stem a little bit darker because it'll be pretty shadowy back there under the under the, the flower and the leaves I should say and then I'm gonna grab my bigger brush for the leaves since they're so big I'm going to fill them in with water, take my paint, and I'm going to start along this bottom edge where I want it to be the darkest. And then the next darkest spot would be back in here behind this line and along this. And then we're just going to kind of blend it in, fill in the rest. Okay, and then we can move to the next leaf. We're going to do the same thing. Fill it in with some water. Grab some dark paint along the edge here and back here along that line and kind of blend it with some water. Okay, next thing we're going to do the orange flower. Actually, let's go ahead and do the dirt next, and then we'll go to the orange flower. So for the dirt, again, I'm going to make it wet. I'm just going to fill it in and then grab some brown paint. I'm going to go along this top edge first. and then just kind of drag it down through. At the bottom here, you can grab some water and smooth it out so it kind of just fades into the white, just like that. And then we're gonna take some more of that brown and we're gonna go right behind these little squiggly lines. It makes it look more shadowy more like little bumps in the dirt. I'm also going to go over this line again just to make it a little bit darker. There you go. Okay, and now we're going to go ahead and do that orange flower. 
Again, I'm using the same colors that I used over here, but they look different because we have to do one more step at the end. So I'm gonna start by filling in these petals with some water. I'm gonna do one petal at a time. So if your petal is behind other petals, you wanna make it darker along the edges and around this middle part. So darker, darker, and darker, and then darker right in here, and lighter up here. And we're gonna go through all the petals like that. I'm gonna fast forward through most of it, but I'm gonna show you this first petal here, and then you guys can finish out your petals. So here's the dark. And then grab some water and pull it out. And you can see it looks like a little bit more 3D because of that shadowed back behind those other petals. Okay, so that's the first petal and I'm gonna go ahead and finish out those petals and then we will move on to the next part. All right, I think I'm done with my orange petals here. So we're gonna go ahead and add that extra step that I was telling you about. Um, I'm gonna start with my little brush here and I'm going to take some of this different color green. If you don't have a different shade of green, you can also use yellow. And I'm just gonna lightly, very lightly, go over all this green in here with this other green and that just kind of mixes those two colors and just makes it look a little bit more interesting. It makes it look like there's just some color differences and it gives it a little bit more dimension and texture. So I'm gonna do that with all of the green, including the stem and the leaves. You can see the leaves just look more realistic because there's some different colors. So I'm gonna Start down here on the stem. Filled in all of the earth green. And again, you don't want to put a lot on, just a little bit, just enough to change the color a tad. You can see I'm spreading most of it out across the whole leaf. I'm just picking up the tiniest bit of paint. And I'm not spending a whole lot of time either. It's just kind of quick. Look at that. Okay, I did not do anything to the blue, so we're gonna leave the blue alone, but I did do something to the petals. So for the petals, I added some yellow, and again, you can see this one looks a little bit more flat and not as colorful, where this one looks nice and bright and colorful and cheery. So I just took my yellow, and I went over those petals with some yellow, just like that, mostly focusing on the outside edge here where it would be a little bit brighter than in the center. The sun might be shining on that part of the flower a little bit more. But you do want to kind of drag it into the whole thing. We're almost there. You can even add a little bit of this yellow to your leaves too, which I did not do on my other one. But I can show you what it would look like on this one because the sun will also be hitting those leaves. So here's a little bit of yellow on the leaves. And if you do add some yellow, I would add them on these upper parts, kind of where it would be lightest, just like that. I also added a tiny bit on the dirt like this. And just spread it out a little bit, just like that. All right, I think I'm all done with my flower. If you enjoyed doing this art project with me, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to see when I release new videos. I would love to make art with you again soon. Most importantly, keep creating. I'll see you next time. Bye.